what's happening is radical and it's a it's a radical transformation i think uh, of american law friday's ruling in the supreme court means that going forward each state will determine its own abortion laws and 13 u.s states already have trigger laws in effect which will ban or already have banned abortion in total 26 states could ban abortion following friday's decision UNH professor of law John Greeby thinks Friday's ruling was outdated. The majority is adopting an approach to constitutional interpretation here uh, that privileges what the, what the people of 1868 understood the law you know, to be. Um, and that's not acceptable because in 1868, women were not considered part of American political society. They didn't get the right to vote for another half a century. Well, President Biden has already called for national codification of Roe v. Wade, Greeby doesn't think that'll happen. That's not going to happen unless they do away with the filibuster and that's not gonna happen. So, it, so in short term, I, I don't think there's gonna be national legislation protecting the abortion right. Friday's ruling also raises concerns of what other liberties could be in jeopardy. It's clear it's not going to stop here. Clarence Thomas made clear he's coming after LGBTQ people. He made clear he's going after integration. He and here in New Hampshire, abortions are legal until 24 weeks in a pregnancy. Governor Chris Sununu has already said that Friday's ruling will not change that. In studio, Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.